Hey what's going on guys Tanmayer for Telusco Learnings and welcome back to another video tutorial on the JavaScript for beginners especially the jQuery part wherein we were discussing about effects in jQuery so in the previous couple of videos we've seen different effects predefined effects in jQuery and i told you that there is a callback argument which is passed in those effects but we haven't really looked into what is callback and we'll also see what is chaining okay so as you can see this is the code that we've been using in the past couple of videos for the effects part so we have a button which i have named as toggle then we have a division with id first div and class my divs inside that we have two paragraphs and we have one more div with the same class and id as second div then we have loaded the jquery over here and we have one more script tag inside which we have document dot ready method that is that event and whatever jquery we will type we will type it over here inside that ready function or ready method we also have a separate style sheet which is styling this division which is giving this blue border and the red color to the paragraph you can change this to something else also okay so i did it dark cyan and so on and so forth so this is something that we've done let's see what is this callback okay now let's say you want to perform fade toggling of this division okay so let's select that division i'm going to say dollar i'm going to use the selector we already know what is selector i'm going to use the id of the first division i'm going to say hash because it is an id selector i'm going to say dot fade toggle okay and this has to happen on the click event right on the click of this button so let's first do that so the button id is btn toggle so again i'm going to say dollar i'm going to say dot okay i forgot to add the hash so i'm going to say dot click inside the click method we have to create an anonymous function i'm going to say function opening and closing round brackets of the function opening and closing curly braces of the body of that function and inside this i'm going to copy and paste this entire thing okay so whenever i click this you can see it is fading out and fading in now we also know that we can pass the timing so if i pass 3000 it will take 3 seconds to fade out the complete paragraph right so if i click on this you can see it is slowly fading out and it takes 3 seconds now what if you want to add a message that the entire division is faded out after you call this fade toggle method okay that is this effect so here i'm going to say alert division is faded okay so after you call this fade toggle you're calling an alert method which is saying division is faded let's give this a higher number let's give it 5000 milliseconds so it will take 5 seconds for this entire division to be faded right now if i click on this toggle you can see even before this entire division is faded the alert box has already come right so you can see that what happened is typically what happens the jquery code runs line by line right but in effects what happens is even when the effect is not completed the line next to the effect is already executed because it is not properly chained or it is because it is not used as a callback so what a callback does is a callback is basically you telling that call something only after the effect is done okay so if you say comma over here you can create a callback function so to create that you can again create anonymous function so i'm going to say function opening and closing round brackets of the function opening and closing curly braces of the body of that function and here i can do that alert so now what has happened is first the fade toggle will happen and it will take 5 seconds for the entire division to fade out and only after that this callback function will be called and this callback function is having this alert method so the alert method will be called only after 5 seconds so if i click on this it will take 5 seconds for this to completely fade out and only then this pop up is shown that is this alert method is called because it is a callback function okay now again if i click on this it will first fade in it will take 5 seconds and only then the pop up alert box will be coming so now it is properly synchronized right so this is what the callback does so callback method is typically used when you are doing effects and when you want some functionality to occur only after the complete effect is done okay so this is callback and it is possible pretty much with all the effects in jquery so if you are using slide down so even then or let's do slide toggle you know and in the method alert i'll say slide toggling done okay so let's give this a smaller time 3000 milliseconds so the first parameter is 
the time duration in which the animation should happen that is the effect should happen and the second parameter is the callback okay so you can completely remove this and this will still work okay but if you just have an alert over here it will be called before the toggling has happened so if i click on toggle immediately the alert box will be shown and the slide toggle will happen afterwards you don't want that to happen right so that's why you give the callback so you just put a comma over here and put that callback function over here so another way what you can do is you can create another function let's say print msg inside that you can call that alert you can see effect done and along with the milliseconds the second argument is the callback right so all the effects have this feature that is first parameter is the time and duration in milliseconds or you can have slow and fast and then the second parameter is usually the callback function so here you can pass print message okay so if i just pass this even this will work so if i click on it you can see first the slide toggling is happening and then the message is done effect shown is called because this function is called so either you can do an anonymous function over here without the name or you can create a separate function and pass the name of that function over here so this was callback let's see what is chaining so in chaining what you can do is you can perform multiple effects one after the another so what if you want to perform slide up and slide down so what i can do is on the click of this button what i want is i want slide up first okay that part I want slide up first so I'm going to say slide up and instead of again copy pasting this and putting it on the new line I want and other part and saying slide down so this is one and the same thing okay so if I click on this first slide up is happening then slide down is happening right let's give it a duration of 2000 so that it happens slowly so if I click on this button first slide up is happening then slide down is happening so instead of doing this in two lines what you can do is you can put this on one single line so first slide up then you can put a dot operator in between and then you can see slide down so you can see first slide up is happening then slide down is happening and you can also add one more thing over here let's see fade out 1000 seconds and again you can see fade in let's say 3000 milliseconds so all these four things will happen one by one starting from the left to right so they are just separated by dot but you are doing it in one single line rather than using the selector over and over again so if i click on this first slide up then slide down then fade out then fade in so you can see four things happen in one single line so this is chaining effects okay you are chaining one effect after another by using the dot operator and you doing it in one single line so yeah that's it for this video guys this was about the callback feature and the chaining of effects i hope you have understood these two concepts you can use it in jquery effects and that's it for this video guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends let me know in the comments how this video was and i'll see you guys in the next video peace